Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. All right, let me make sure this is showing up okay. Just, you know, the tech glitches during Mercury retrograde, so fun. If you can hear me and you can see me, go ahead and just post in the comments and give StreamYard permission to see your name so that I know who's commenting, who's talking. Yes. All right. Okay. So it looks like we're showing up okay. Let me make sure we're showing up here. Fun, fun. Okay. Perfect. So post in the comments where you are watching from. I love to hear that because I get people from all over the world and it's so much fun. And I'm trying this mic out again. It's a different one. I had to send the other one back. So if you don't hear me okay, let me know. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get rolling here. Yay! We're going to be doing some clearing later on this call, so we're going to be getting some really amazing things done. So make sure that you're paying attention because when we ID and clear these blocks, you'll notice that your life starts to change, your business starts to change, and everything starts to roll more smoothly, okay? So again, post in the comments where you're watching from. Okay. All right. So today, welcome, welcome. We are going to ID and clear the number one dollar earning coaching blocks. And I know you're probably wondering what those are and they run deep. I just want to tell you that. So this is something that is near and dear to my, to my heart because it's something I, a trap that I used to get stuck in. And so I wanted to share with that and dive a little deeper in how to get out of that trap so that you can start creating that sustainable and scalable business. Okay. So what I first noticed, the number one thing I first noticed is the people creating content all the time. They're using content creation as an excuse to not sell their offers. And, you know, we're going to dig deeper into why that happens, the emotions, the beliefs, the blocks that come in. But I want you to ID whether this feels like it resonates with you. So what I notice is people creating multiple programs, courses, packages, um, whatever that is for you all at once. Okay. And usually you have a history of doing that, but then you never get them up and offered. So you have all these things created and then you start over and you need another offer. And you might like try a little bit to put it out there and show people it. But if it doesn't get a quick, if it's not a quick, you know, instant viral, whatever, then you go, oh, I need something new. I need a new offer. I need to package it differently. I need to refine it more instead of just getting out there and sharing your gifts. Okay. So um, if this is you, then what I see is with, I see people that, um, you know, if you do offer it, like say you get your program or your product or your service out there, um, you aren't putting it out there in a way that generates enough income. Am I right? Am I right on that? Or any income at all? So maybe you're moving really slow or you're not creating the income at all. So you skip really important foundational steps and you kind of stay in that spin cycle. And that's what I want to help you get out of today. Because this is like, like I said, it's something that I really struggled with and it wasn't fun. And I found out I was working at seven o'clock in the morning sometimes to nine o'clock at night. No fun. So here's the, here's the deal. These people that do this, you might try to offer it a little bit. Maybe you make a post, right? You put a post out there. This is my offer. Or you do a couple stories or lives and maybe even are consistent about it. But maybe you're not even getting to the point. Um, so you put your offer out there and when you don't get the views or you don't get the people reaching out to you or instantly piss, uh, hitting the buy now button, you get frustrated because no one's listening or coming forward to buy your thing, right? They're not, they're just not coming forward. Well, there's a reason for that. Okay. And we're going to go deeper into that. But the thing is those people keep falling back into, I got to create more. I got to create something new. They're constantly doing that, which takes away from the getting your stuff out there and seen and put in the hands of your soulmate clients. And that's really a shame. As you've heard me talk about before, we have soulmate clients that we're born to work with, right? And when that happens, if they don't see it, you're never able to help them. So these contracts that you were born with to work with these people, they never happen. And those people stay stuck. And so that's on you. So it's really important that you really think about why you are constantly creating more content or or switching your niche or shiny object syndrome. Why are you doing that? Why is it happening? 
And the number one thing that I can say, it's safe. All right. It's safer to just make more offers or courses or packages or redo everything over and over again. Right. It's safer. You tell yourself you're working and you feel like you're working because you are, but you are, you know, you're just not getting it out there in a way that what it is, is it's more of a hobby. Okay. This is, becomes a really expensive hobby when you are working your butt off and you're not making the income for that return on your effort. Okay. The ROE. And then with that, you get a lot of the ups and downs as well, the emotional waves. So it's not even a fun hobby because you're creating all the stuff, you get excited and then you don't get the satisfaction of being able to share it and having it in the right people's hands, right? And you don't have it as the energy exchange that we need in order to have that healthy energy exchange, which is usually a financial exchange, okay? So this is if this is you, I get it. I totally get it. I was there too. And it lasted for me probably a good five years, but I could really see what was going on. You know, it was like after five years, I was like looking at it going, oh my gosh, what have I done? All right. So usually what this is around is it's avoiding, it helps you by creating content all the time. It helps you avoid fear of failure. All right. So that is one of the blocks, fear of failure. The other thing is fear of being seen. Okay. Fear of being seen. You don't want to be seen because what will happen? Ridicule. Uh, people make fun of you. Maybe you won't be accepted, rejected, whatever. So there's no way you can be rejected if they don't see you, if you don't put your offer out there to start with, right? If you're constantly in creation mode, you don't have to worry about being rejected because you're never putting it out there. So around this, most of the time, it's some kind of trauma in, from the past. Um, and it could be from this lifetime, um, somebody told you that you weren't good enough or you weren't worthy or no one will want you or no one wants, no one wants you, right? Or you don't deserve this or others are better or low confidence. And I want you to think about this as I'm talking about it and really like dig deep. Is this me? And if it is write down any of these emotions, if one really resonates, yep, that's me. Yep. That's me. And you can, it, it's, it's crazy how this can resonate. Okay. And the thing is, if you can't remember the original event, it's super hard to heal it, okay? Like EFT, you really need to know what you're working on. You're tapping on the emotional, uh, the acupoints, uh, the EFT points to be able to clear it out. But if you can't remember where it starts from, like really early childhood under the age of five, can really like, how do you remember a three-year-old memory? It's super hard. I mean, I have one memory. It was like sticking this little uh, hairpin into the light socket. Now I never forgot that one. I still remember that taste of that energy going through my body. I'm telling you, it was in my mouth. It was crazy. So, but very rarely do we have those kind of childhood memories, right? We just, they're in our subconscious at this point. Okay. The other thing is, um, things that we've inherited from our parents, right? Our ancestors going back generations. I mean, it's all there. Okay. So here's some foundational things that you need to get out of this loop. For in, we know that clearing the emotional blocks, those energy blocks that are keeping you stuck is, stuck is super important and, important. and we're going to do that today. So I'm going to be writing down what, the blo what blocks come forward. And we're going to go ahead and clear those today. So we've got special treats for you coming up. All right. So here's the foundational things you need. All right. So this is the inspired, aligned business steps that are really important. And oftentimes, again, we skip over these steps because it's a form of sabotage. You're constantly making new creation. You're changing all your, your pretty Canva, you know, branding. You're changing your colors. You're going to do some different videos. You're, you, it's avoiding. Okay. I don't want that for you because if you're avoiding, you're not sharing and serving. Okay. So here's the deal. I want you to focus on one thing at a time. Okay. You can do multiple things. Like, like what I do is I'm a manifesting generator in the human design. So what I do is I have several things going on, but I have a main focus that I'm working on. And that's my aligned and limitless entrepreneur program. That's my main focus. Everything comes back to that. And I'm constantly looking at whether what I'm doing is generating new leads. If it's generating clarity calls, if it's bringing in new clients, these are the people that I'm meant to serve. Okay. That is my main focus. Now I'm working on a workshop for that. I'm working on some content for the program, right? There's always other things that I'm doing that keeps my creativity going, but I have that one main focus that I'm working on at a time. I don't have five courses that I'm selling at a time. Okay. No, 
because that takes away, if I'm creating that all the time, or if I'm like scattering that energy all over the place, nothing gets done. Okay. So um, when you're focusing on one thing at a time, you're going to get it created and you're going to start offering. So like I said, one main offer, something, something hopefully really juicy, something that creates a huge transformation in your people. And in my program, I teach how to create a transformational high value offer. Okay. So how many of you have a high value transformational offer? I would love to hear this. Let me see if I see comments. Yep, yep, yep. I know, right? So how many of you have a high value transformational offer that you're actually promoting? And are you making that your main focus? So I want you to stop with any of the excuses, okay? The blame of self, the blame of others. And I want you to step into your greatness, okay? Because that's where you can serve better, all right? If you have low self-confidence, it's, a it's time to find where that is rooted in and heal it. If you're not confident in yourself, why? Find it. Follow those emotional breadcrumbs back and find out where it is. The healing process is where the magic to your success is, guys. This, there's no failure, okay? You are just fine-tuning what works. That's all it is. You go out there, you try something, you have this amazing offer, maybe you put it out there, maybe you don't get anybody buys it. It's not failing. It's just figuring out this didn't work. And I'm not going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. I'm going to change and do something different. So, okay. So it's just fine tuning it. What works, what doesn't and doing more of what works. Okay. So, um, usually getting some help and actually following that guidance is what will help you the most. All right. So that is mentors. It's finding somebody that's already done it. Okay. That really helps. If you're doing the same thing over and over again, and it doesn't work, then that needs to change. And that is something I really want you to think about. If you're, if you are going forward and you get all of a sudden freaked out and you go back into the old patterns, that is a problem. That's a sabotage. That's some kind of lock. And it's time for that change to happen. Okay. So working on your inner game, your thoughts, your beliefs, your repeat patterns, we just talked about your emotions, you know, things from this lifetime and inherited. It's the first step. Okay. So infusing the positive energy and mindset that goes with it is next. Because what we are believing, we are saying, we are living, and those words have power. We're writing them down. We're thinking about them. And if they're negative, like, I can't do this. I'm not doing anything right. Or nobody's going to buy my program or product or service. That's what you're going to manifest. Because remember, what you put out into the universe, the universe is going to send back to you, okay? So then I want you to do all, I want you to work on this deep roots and then get out of your own way, Okay. And then the big thing is to keep it simple. It doesn't have to be super complicated. It doesn't mean that you're not doing anything though. Okay. It doesn't mean you're sitting on the couch with sticky notes of affirmations, you know, stick, stuck to your forehead thinking I'm, a, you know, it doesn't work and watching Netflix. You have to take the inspired action steps. Okay. No more content creation for a while. Okay. No more serial certifying. No more doing the things that aren't earning or bringing in money. Okay. So for me, what that, what that, what that looked like is I already knew I had enough certifications and I had enough knowledge and I probably had like eight or nine certifications and I kept wanting, and I'm a lifetime learner. So I like to learn, but I had to take a full year of commitment that I am in sell mode. All this stuff is just an expensive hobby. If I'm not selling it, if I'm not earning an income from it, it's an expensive hobby, guys. If you're not making money, it's a hobby. So stop trying to sell it if that's what it is. And that's okay if that's what it is. But if you are trying to serve and help people, there's got to be some kind of energy exchange. And you need to be serious about that. The first step is profits. Okay? So creating a solid foundation is, is the next step. Okay? So that is creating you as the expert in your field. And I know that self-confidence comes into play here. Well, I'm not, I can't do this, but you can, because you are the expert. If you are here right now and you've been living this and, and learning and excited and passionate, you are, you've already learned so much more than most people and you are the expert. So how will you do that? What will you do to show that you are, show to your people that you are credible, that you are the expert in your field, that you can help them. You have to be able to show that to them. And one of the first things I teach my people is how to get um, proper testimonials because testimonials really help build that credibility. And then the likeness, no trust factor comes in with you getting out there, showing up and expanding. All right. Um, that could be with collaboration. 
That could be with being a guest expert for others. Are you being consistent? Are you getting out there and being consistent? Have you created an audience that you have access to? And when I say access to, this is a way like a list, like your list, your email list, or a free Facebook group. Hopefully you have both, okay? So when you have an audience that you have access to, that's not just you getting on Facebook and me talking to you like right now. It means you're on my list. It means you're in my Shining Mentor Successful Entrepreneurs group, and I can have a little bit less of an access to you there because, or are you on my text messaging system? Where do I have like real access to you? I mean, people that listen to my podcast are great, but not all of them are on my list. So I don't have instant access to them. Okay. So you need to think about that. How are you going to do that? Do you know how to bring them into your community? Do you know how to bring your potential clients into your community? And if so, how are you doing it? It's really good. I have a masterclass that uh, will be coming out this next week ish <laughs> that will teach you all about that, how to get there, how to get that, all of this rolling. Okay. So are you actually active in your group? Are you consistently spending time in your group? It doesn't mean you have to be like a in prison and you're like shackled to your group. It just means you go in there consistently. So people can build that like, no trust factor about you that they can see that you're the expert in that field. Do you have them, um, on an ongoing basis, like are you showing up ongoing at the same time weekly or at least roughish around the same time? You know what I mean? I'm like free flowing. I like to go with how I'm feeling. Um, I'm a manifesting generator and I'm an emotional authority. So I have to go with my feelings as well, right? So once you have them, like say in your group, do you have a way to present your offer in a form of a high value free offer? Okay. Do you have something do you know how to do that? Do you have a way to present your offer to them in a form of a high value free offer? Do you have that? So people skip the community step, all right? And do this and do that. And sometimes it fails, but you know, it, sometimes it's just seeing into completing all of it, okay? Kind of like going into it and not feeling like, oh, this isn't working. Because sometimes it takes time to get this foundation built up. And it takes that consistency. And if you could honestly say you've spent three or four months really doing it daily and putting in an effort really and putting out your offers really and having that high value offer that you know how to get out there and you've built a list that you have access to these people. If you can consistently say that you've done that and it's still not working, then something needs to change. Okay. Again, and again, keep it simple. All right. So the foundational pieces are super important and the connections are important. Okay. My word for 2022 is collaboration. All right. Last year it was connection, but really they go hand in hand, right? I don't know what your words are, but I would like you to think about your word right now. And it's, it's always fun to see what other people's words are. So I want you to think about this. How are you offering your services now? How are you offering them? Is it working? Is it helping you reach your goal? How are you finding your people? Do you have a system in place that's repeatable and scalable? So these questions can bring up a lot of emotions, I know. And trust me, it's like, oh, I don't want to do all that. It's not a lot of work, especially when you have someone that's guiding you and helping you, right? Trying to do it all by yourself and trying to figure it out can take years and years and years, all right? So what are they? What are your emotions that are coming up? Where did they start? How are they sabotaging you? I want you to think about that. Then use energy to clear them out because energy is my go-to for most of these things, almost everything, okay? You can use my quantum key method to release hundreds, if not thousands of generations of blocks. And you can also use it to install the new belief systems, okay? You can get that for free at melissazoski.com backslash QKM. And it's free for now, so I would grab it and see how it feels. I have thousands of people that have gone through that program and it's creative massive shifts, all right? It's kind of my, my way of giving back. So then it's up to you to take the inspired action steps, all right, that actually create results and don't keep you in the spin cycle. You can be doing, like I said, I worked from seven to nine days and days and days until I was totally fried, and I hadn't created hardly any new income, okay? And um, tip, tip is if you repeatedly, if it's repeatedly not working, it's not coming from that place of your intuition, but a sneaky self-sabotage, all right? You can tell yourself, well, I'm doing all this good stuff and I'm feeling aligned and it feels great. But if it's not making you money, 
If you aren't getting it to serving your people, then something is off and something needs to be revisited. And I almost can guarantee you it's you. You aren't aligned. And that's where this needs to shift. And once you start saying, well, it's that, or it's blaming this, or I'm doing this, and there's always something, once you just say, hey, I'm out of alignment, I'm going to get in alignment. I'm going to get back into freaking alignment. And you're going to do the work, okay? So it's time to dig deeper. And, you know, this is, um, it's uncovering for me when every time I think about this stuff, it uncovers new things. So I hope it's uncovered something for you today. So if you are in the Shining Mentor Successful Entrepreneurs Group, on Facebook, uh, we're going to ID and clear some of these blocks around this. So join in that, join that group and you can catch the replay. Okay. Because there is no distance when it comes to energy clearing. There's no time or distance. We can get it through a replay as easily as we can get it to this live. Okay. If you have a dream, passion, and a mission for your work. All right. If you're passionate about it, if it's always there, then you're supposed to be sharing it. And it's supposed to be successful. All right. You can do this. Let's go. Okay. So post in the comments, what comes up for you? And I'm going to write some of these things down because we're going to go ahead. If you're in the group, we're going to go ahead and clear some of these out. And then we're going to do a card drawing for the week. Okay. So let me check and see what has been coming up for you. All right. Let me see what's been coming up for you. I love this. All right. So I'm in the Shining Mentors group right now. Hi, Diana. Hi, Kayla. Okay. So you're asking, what do you consider high value? So for me, high value, and this is going to be in the workshop too. So for me, high value would be a really um, good masterclass that really helps people to create something. Like I have my 1K per day masterclass and I, I put that out there. Now for me, that's high value because it teaches people how to create their, their really huge transformational offer. That's their big offer, like my Aligned and Limitless Entrepreneur Program. That's my big offer, right? So when I create a high-value free offer, it's that 1K per day. So I show them how to create their transformational offer. I show them how to claim the expert in their field. I show them how to clear those blocks daily when I do that. And it's really incredible, all right? Okay, so I can't see all the comments here. Let me see if I can see something over here. All right. So for some of you, you haven't given permission. I don't know if it will let you in different groups. So money scarcity. Okay. We have money scarcity. So if you have anything that's coming up, money scarcity. Okay. With money scarcity, keep in mind, it's going to be a habit too. So you can clear the block out, but you need to take that leap of faith as well to be able to clear it out. All right. Um, let me see here. And I'm, I can just, I've already, I can, I'm going to be able to pick up on a lot of this stuff just going to. Um, oh, somebody's asking, how's my mic working? My mic is working amazing. I hope. How's it working? Does it sound good? I know it's like, uh, it's called a shore mic. My, my son was highly recommending, um, Christine. So somebody's saying they're on Maui. I'm going to Maui in March. So I'm super excited about that. We usually go every year, but we haven't gone for the last couple of years. Um, imposter syndrome. That's another one. I can't see who put this one out there. So we have imposter syndrome. So that will definitely get in the way of um, you claiming your expert in the field. Okay. Procrastination. All right. Procrastination is a huge one. Um, it's just another form of a lot of times we do distraction. Like I said before, constantly creating new content and new courses. And I can tell you, I have like eight different courses that I created over the years and sold very little of them until I started promoting. Right. It's like, you, you just like got another idea. And plus part of the, um, the thing about being um, an entrepreneur, especially a spiritual entrepreneur, is that we always are getting these ideas. We're always like getting, oh, I got another idea. Ah, write them down, brainstorm and put them down. So, of course, we have fear of being seen. Okay. I like it. I mean, I don't like it, but it's there. It's a good one. Let me check the other window here and see if anything else is coming up. Fear of being seen. All right, let me look on here. See if we have anything else here. Emotional managing is Tracy. Awesome. Okay, so we're just going to go through a clearing and I'm going to go ahead and ID um, 
Someone's saying, one thing I keep trying to address is inconsistency, creating content like social media, blogs, newsletters, et cetera. So, oh, you mean inconsistency in creating content. Okay, so um, I'd love to see what um, human design you are because a lot of times we are just like, for me, since um, I, I have an undefined, undefined heart center, um, what that means to me is I that's where willpower comes in a lot of times too. And it's just about like, is keeping that consistent energy. What I have to do is learn, to, you had to learn to ride those waves. And when you have a day when you are on, you totally take advantage of that. You know what I'm talking about. Like when you have a day when you're doing organizing or cleaning stuff out, you know how you like go, I'm going to ride this wave. I'm going to get this done. That's what you need to learn if that's you. I don't know if it's you, but I was just um, looking deeper into the heart center today. And heart center is different than G center. G center is that place of love and contentment and passion to, to help and that kind of thing and leading with love. And I've got that totally defined, but the heart center is more um, where like our ego comes in where um, I know it's kind of not sounds like not the same. It sounds a little bit um, inconsistent with what we, with what we've learned, but um, it's around what our, where our willpower is and kind of what we want to fulfill for ourselves. All right. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and clear this out. All right. I'm going to do this in here. And I want you just to take a nice, easy, deep breath and close your eyes and shift your eyes. If long, as long as you're not driving, close your eyes, shift them up and take a nice, easy, deep breath in and release. Nice, easy, deep breath in and release. And we're calling your higher selves forward for each and every one of you to give me full access and permission to ID whatever it is that's getting in the way of your success in your business. All right. We ask that all known and unknown negative images, unhealthy beliefs, destructive cellular memories, and all resulting physical issues related to these blocks to your success, we ask to be found open and healed by filling each one of you with love, light, life, and truth. We also ask that the full effects of this healing be increased to the highest level for our greatest good at this time, but still be gentle, easy, and pleasant. I'm going to have you tap both hands over your chest over your heart, and then pulling your hands back and then hovering them over that area and just follow along, okay? We're IDing any money scarcity. And what I'm getting here is an 18 generation back father's side. Let's go ahead and ID that and anything resonating with that from the collective conscious. We've got a 62 generation back father's side, money scarcity. We also have grandparents and great grandparents that lived through the depression for two, three, four, six, nine people. So let's go ahead and pull that energy in and ID anything around that and anything else resonating from other timelines and any other generational blocks that are coming forward that resonate with this. Let's call that all in. All right, tapping left hand over your crown chakra, right hand gently over your throat and then pulling your hands back. All right, let's ID any imposter syndromes for the person that wrote this, IDing that in them for seven generation back mother's side. There's the I'm not good enough. I can't do anything right. I'm not as good as others. Others do this better than me. We also have a 54 generation back father's side and a 36 mother. Pulling that in, also the collective consciousness of women, imposter syndrome, never being enough, never being good enough, always needing to expand and push forward to make yourself more seem more valuable and not, not knowing that you already have that value within you. So IDing anything else around this? And do we have anything else around the collective pulling that in, IDing it, tagging that? Okay, other timelines, any alternative timelines? Yes, we have 3, 4, 17, 24, S H I F E B. We have chakra pattern one, we have liver, we have gallbladder, we have spleen and heart. Okay, tapping both hands over your stomach, your solar plexus, tap, 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 waking that solar plexus up and then pulling your hands back, hovering them over that area. We are looking at procrastination. A way of self-sabotage, not doing what needs to be done, not sharing your gifts, feeling that resistance because of all these beliefs you have around yourself. The procrastination, okay, 
Um, one of this is not showing up and being seen. One of this is not creating content. One of this is around, um, again, visibility, fear of ridicule, rejection, fear of what other people, fear of judgment. All right, we're looking back on this as an 11 generation back mother side. We're looking at the collective consciousness, <sighs> releasing, IDing, anything else around this. So we have an 82. We have a 15 mother. We have an in utero memory like putting off the, the future, putting off whatever's coming, the fear of what's coming. We have a traumatic birth, pulling that in, fear of losing life, this instinctual part of losing life. So if you sit back and do nothing, then nothing can happen because safe, you're safer in the known than moving forward in the unknown. Tapping left hand over your root, right over your pelvic bone, right hand over sacral, right below the belly button, waking those chakras up and then pulling your hands back, hovering them over that area. And we're looking into the fear of being seen, just straight up fear of being seen. And tall poppy syndrome, where the tallest poppy gets cut off. So if you get unwanted attention, you're going to get in trouble. We're looking into the witch wound from the collective consciousness, mainly women, of sharing your gifts and something bad will happen when you share your gifts with the world. So let's go ahead and pull that in for each and every one of you on the live today and listening to the recordings and clearing those out. Okay, let's clear these, clear these, clear. Okay, keep your hands where they are. Let's focus on pulling in any resonating frequency from the unknown. Okay, so can we look at, can we ask for anything else from other timelines to be, come forward from anything that we've mentioned? Is there anything else that we need to ID? Yes. Okay. There's shame, shame that you've not gotten as far as you need to be the guilt that you've spent money before and you still haven't made this profitable. There's guilt. And we're going to go ahead and pull that in for each and every one of you that have that. We have 17, 24, 425, 16, S H E B I F. Okay. Okay. Third eye, go ahead and tapping both hands over the third eye and keep your hands there as I am going to go ahead and keep on clearing this. I owe 10. Okay, we have a four. All right, pulling these all in. Is there anything else that we're missing from each one of you that are here right now live and in the future watching the replay? We have anything else here? Do we have 100% information needed to clear this? Yes. Okay. And I said, well, in your heart, I want you just to say to yourself, and you can place both hands over your heart, just tap over your heart, and then place both hands over your heart right now. And I want you to say, I want to be over this. I want to be over this. Okay, yes. Okay, can we create, can we go to the original events right now? Anything that's a very, at the very core original, anything else that we haven't tagged yet? Can we go find anything else? Yes. Okay. Would we have 100%? Yes. Okay. Okay, let this all this create this massive shift in you right now, clearing it from this lifetime and all generations, all other timelines, any other alternative timelines, any other dimensional timelines, anything from the collective, clearing this now. <sighs> okay, release, release, release. All right, all right, we got this. <sighs> okay. Ooh, okay, so I just want you to continue to rub on your heart, allowing all these energy centers to harmonize in balance and allowing this to integrate and process over the next couple days. And then cross your hands over your chest and give yourself a nice big squeeze and give gratitude and thanks for this healing and magnifying and sharing it with anyone else listening to this recording. Ooh, that felt so good. I want you to stretch. You can stretch, 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 stretch. That feels good to you. Roll your shoulders around. That helps release. You can arch forward. You can arch back and you can just allow this energy to process. This has been massive. What did anybody feel? Did anybody have anything come up for them as we were doing this process? Because I know and I, when I'm working within my group and I'm really, we have this really big inner, I mean, not big, but really powerful inner circle where people like are exchanging this and we're seeing back doors to areas that we never have seen before open up and clear those things out. If you had an aha moment, please post it in the comments. Let me see if I can see any, any other comments here. 
Wow. This is so incredible. I love it. Whew. I love feeling that energy shift. And we're going to go ahead and um, start doing our a card drawing for you as well. All right. Tears came today. Yeah, Tracy, it does for me too. Lisa saying not being enough. Yes, I hope that that is cleared. Anything that's came, come up was cleared for you and just allow it to keep clearing out over the next 24 to 48 hours, sometimes 72. So you need to be drinking a lot of water. You need to be grounding yourself. Taking a sea salt back bath is helpful. Okay. All right. I <laughs> love it. Love to hear what your comments are. I have to show you this too. Look at my crystal. Is this thing beautiful? I love it. I have it next to me. It's imprinted. All right. Lots of shifting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We are going to do the energy of your business oracle card to see what it is that is best for you to do this week. We're going to go ahead and do the three card drawing. And let me go ahead and shuffle and just focus. You can get this deck on Etsy and just look up the energy of your business. I'll post the link in the comments too, so you can get them easier. Um, let's go ahead and focus on what it is that's going to help you shift easier this week. Okay. Let's see what inspired action you're being guided to take. I love it. Love it. Love it. And then if you want me to pull a card for you, for you, I can do that. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull the energy of your business oracle deck. I want you to focus. Just focus your energy right now on what it is that you are being guided to do this week in your business, okay? If you have something else going in your life, remember everything is connected. When you work on your business, you're working on everything else, all right? Okay, so let's just get these out. All right, let's go ahead and get these. All right, so the first card. Ooh, did I just not talk about this? Connection, network, and collaboration create strong connections. These will take you far. So that would mean for you this week is to get out there and make some new connections. And every time I do this, I go into every connection I make out of cur with curiosity. I don't go into it thinking, oh, this might be a potential client. No, I don't know if they're going to be a potential client. They could be somebody I learned from. They could be a mentor. They could be somebody that does buy something from me. They could be a collaboration. They could be somebody I just really like and like to get to know better. And there's something that we exchange in that connection. Okay. So it has been awesome. It's been awesome when you make these connections. Okay. I love it. Okay. The next one that comes forward, higher self, ask your old wise, wise self, tap into your highest version of yourself. All right. So what does that mean? That's our soul level. That is the soul part of us that doesn't have any of those beliefs, blocks, patterns, any of that, any of those negative things. It's just clean and clear, wants to help you get what you need to get out of this lifetime, right? Wants to help you grow, wants to help you level up in every area. And you don't just have to do one thing. You, you know, you want it all. You're not really fully rounded if you don't have your health, your wealth, good relationships, good money coming in. I mean, good sex, all of it. If you don't have all of it, then you are not really the highest version of you. And so we want to tap into that higher version of ourselves. So this week, if you want to do the quantum key method, if you want to get that free method, melissazoski.com backslash QKM, you can visualize your higher self coming forward and asking for guidance, okay? Making sure that even during the day, I need help asking for it and asking for that to be led by that pure intuition, not fear disguised itself as your intuition, but that pure intuition that is always coming to you from God's source universe, from your higher self, all right? You are always tapped into it. It's whether you choose to follow through with it is up to you. And clearing those negative, the negative information held in your DNA from your life, from this lifetime, from your ancestors, from influential people in your life, that is the first step, clearing that out so that you have that clear, like, connection, Okay. All right. Again, that's the higher self. The next one, the third one. Oh my gosh. Quantum key method. Heal generations of beliefs and patterns and 
you can use this. The quantum key method helps you install that positive. A lot of times you've been working on your affirmations, right? You've been working on like having those take root. But the problem is we're just like these huge computers, right? We are full of so much stuff. Like I just got a new hard drive recently, an external hard drive to move all the stuff off my computer so I can make space. So my computer's faster so I can download more good stuff. We are just like that. All that good stuff that you're trying to download is just sitting there spinning, you know, the max spinning wheel. It's sitting there waiting to download. The quantum key method will help you get rid of that stuff and make the space. And then it helps you infuse that positive and you just feel better. It's like, wow. And all that work that you've done, all that previous work that you've spent so much time working on, it goes, boom, it downloads overnight. And then you think, I had overnight success. And it's one, 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 one right now. I had overnight success. Nope. You've been doing this work. It's just waiting for the space to come in. So you've done some amazing work. It's time to get some space, clear those blocks out so that you can then have it, make the room to clear it, to bring in the positive, okay? And remember, when we're filled with all that positive, that positive energy goes out to the universe. The universe sends us back the like vibration. And it's all good. If you're sending out good, you're going to get good. We're always sending out broadcasts. We're always sending out something. We're always manifesting, okay? So make it good, all right? So I hope that's helped you and um, stay tuned next week for the next one. We love this. You know what I like to do here now? I'm always like doing two things at once here. Take a quick picture so I can post this on Instagram and make sure that I have these in the right order. There we go. Awesome. 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 Okay. Does anybody want a card specifically for yourself? And we'll see you next week for the three card draw. I'm doing these weekly and it just really helps you to really be able to tune in to what your next, next steps are for this week to have that inspired action. Okay. So we have Ada. Yes, Ada, you'd like a card. Let's do it. Go ahead and focus on what you want me to pull for you. What do you want to bring in? What do you want? What kind of guidance do you want? Focus on that. Now, right now, as I'm shuffling this, if any of you other are like, oh, I think this card's going to be for me too, then it's going to be for you. All right. So go ahead and focus. Focus, focus. And Ada, this is for you. Oh, right here. You have connection again. Isn't that crazy? Ada has been doing amazing. She is step four. You need to check out her art. She has an art um, program right now with actually using art to heal, infusing beautiful art pieces. Ada, will you post the link for your art? Uh, your your program that you're doing right now. Um, and all she's been doing is connection. So she came, she's in my program and she came in and she, we cre she created this program, right? And the first day she started selling it with just making connections, just making a few posts without even, it was effortless. And she's already filled her first spot. It's her first goal. And she's already in line to sell her second spots. You have five spots left. Yes, that is amazing. So she's teaching you how to infuse your art with this beautiful healing energy and also manifesting. So you could have this beautiful piece of artwork that you've created, right? And you're just going to put it out there and it's going to like you put it in your house and it's going to create this big magnetic pull to bring in more of the things that you want into your life. And she's going to show you how to do that. So make sure you check that out. All right. So Ada, for you, it's more connection. I don't want you to forget. This is how you've gotten here. Do more of this. Keep that up for this week. All right. Let's sell out three spots. So she already over, over sold out. I can't even speak today. She already sold out her first set. She's had to create a whole nother group to create a second. And then she might even go for a third. She's going, she's an amazing manifester, right? It's amazing. She's beautiful too. Beautiful artwork. Oh my gosh. All right. So um, Sharon Blue, I see that you want a card now. I can't see all your names. So make sure that you post your name first, just to make sure I can see it. All right, Sharon, let's go to you. Sharon's also part of my program. Oh, and she is an incredible tarot teacher and reader. And she's apps so full of gifts. You have to check her out. Sharon's incredible. Sharon. 
All right. Anybody who's feeling like this card is for them, go ahead and focus. Oh, I love it. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. What do you need this week for guidance? What do you need this week for guidance? Nice. All right. Sharon, time for marketing. Woo, 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 woo. Time for marketing. Okay, Sharon. So share your offers and services. We just talked about this. It's as simple as I know you have this amazing transformational program that helps people in so many ways. Maybe it's time to start thinking of how you're going to get it out there. And I know that you, you have a six month program that you are offering on tarot teaching and teaching people how to really step into their, their gifts, right? So now's the time to start really thinking about how you're going to create this. All right. Love it. Now we are also in the Aligned and Limitless program. We're having a whole workshop. I was just thinking about when we're going to uh, post that, when we're going to actually plan for that, where we're going to go into doing, creating those uh, transformational offers so that you can bring people into your program. Actually, it's about, I kind of said that differently. It's about creating your high value free offer to bring people into your transformational program. Okay. So again, why Leah, you'd like a card. Okay. Hi beauty. And she is the frequency. She's the frequency queen, man. She is transforming people. Wylea is like transforming people's energy so quickly into such a high vibe. Sharon is saying, I love it. I already have six in my 12-month subscription programs. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. It's awesome. I'm so excited. Let's give her a congratulations. And you're starting a new six-month tarot class on April 1st. Wait list is open. Let's do it, sister. This is exactly what I love my people to be doing is creating their dreams and creating a sustainable, scalable business that lights you up and that you're able to share your gifts with your people. Thank you, Sharon. You're amazing. I love seeing it. I get so excited when I see that. Let's make it happen. Check it out. Put your link to your wait list here, Sharon. You have my permission to put your list here, your link here if you have it. Come join. Come join. Come join. Okay, Wylea. Focus on Wylea. Well, and anybody else that's feeling the tinge of this? All right, we're going to pull this in. Whew, I get so excited with that stuff. Oh, love seeing success. Love my people succeeding. Okay. I <laughs> love it. Okay, Wylea, my frequency queen. Okay. All right, for you is prioritizing what's the most important. The biggest wins come from the smallest steps over time. You are such a creator and you're a content creator. So all this is saying is to really tune into what is your biggest offer this week? Why, Leah, what's your big offer? I want to make sure that you have that really juicy and that you're then putting it out there. So focusing on getting people in that big offer. And then if that doesn't work, then we're going to downsell, okay? Because I know you have some amazing, incredible offers that are helping people really level up in their frequency so they can attract what they want and get that health that they want back and get that, that stress-free and feeling vibrant and alive. And I know that's what you do. Awesome. Yay, Sharon! Yes, learn how to read tarot intuitively with live Zoom classes weekly. Shoot me a DM. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, Brooks. Is Brooks asking? Let's see here, Brooks. You would like a card? Let's go ahead and pull a card for you. All right. Anybody feeling this? Let's do it. Let's do it, do it. I love it. <laughs> Remember, if you're watching the replay and you feel like a little tingly, like I'm shuffling right now, and you're feeling a little tingly, then you're knowing this is for you, okay? All right. All right, Brooks. Okay, energetic launch. Okay, if you have your own program, this is a aligned launch for success. And so in my program, we have strategic ways of actually doing energetic launches. That means basically, how are you going to put your program out there and really start to think about what that would look like? Um, so for business, this is just around, like I said before earlier on my long talk, was about um, giving something that's really high value for free, like a high value uh, masterclass or workshop or something like that, that's either really low cost or it is um, for free. 
All right. And then at the end, you're going to talk about your high value transformational program, service, whatever that is. And it's just like today, I'm kind of like talking to you. This is not like, this is just something I do every week, but I believe in giving a lot of value and it's really important. And so when they say, when you do that and they see a little piece of you and what you do, then they want to know more and then they follow you more and then they kind of, you know, get to know you more and they get to know the, the kind of value that you, how you can help them change and shift. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's anyone else and I'm not seeing names here. So I'm seeing a lot of me pleases, but I don't see a name. Let me look here. All right. Heather Anderson. I see your name finally. Okay. Heather, let's go ahead and draw you a card. Sweet Heather is, oh my gosh, you have to check Heather Anderson out with her Claire coaching program. She teaches you how to step into your inner psychic and really be able to fine tune those abilities. And when you start opening that up, watch out. It is absolutely crazy how much you're able to to really like, it's not just in your, like you're making this like Claire coaching, you're becoming an intuitive coach or whatever. It's about your whole life. It's about stepping more for fully into your intuition. All right. So Heather, let's go ahead and pull you a card. All right. So we have attract. We have magnetize and pull in what you want. Magnetize and pull in what you want. And you do this so beautifully. So those of you check Heather out, Heather, if you have a link you want to share, you can share that. Heather's part of our Aligned and Limitless uh, Entrepreneur Program as well. And she is so gifted. She reminds me of Mandy Moore too. <laughs> she looks a lot like Mandy Moore. Beautiful, powerful, and amazing. All right. And Tracy, let's go ahead and pull a card for you. All right. Go ahead and focus. And it's the last card I'm going to draw. All right. Focus, focus, focus. What is it that you need this week, Tracy? What is it that you need this week? Let's see what we can pull in. Ooh, fire focus. Do, 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 do. Okay, fire focus. That's focusing on your fire, focus on your goal and plan out what needs to be done. So really fine tune. And this is kind of like that, what I was saying in the very beginning of this call today, it's about really dialing in to that one thing that you're trying to create this huge impact with, and then bringing everything into how do you get there? So you start at the end, selling your high ticket high transformational program. That's the, you start at the end and you work your way backward. That's where you want to be. What are those steps you need to take next to get there? And um, Tracy is new to the Aligned and Limitless program. We're so glad to have her. If you have a link for one of your offers, go ahead and post them, sweetie. Um, you have my permission to do that. And people can check out your amazing gifts because you have some powerful gifts too. Incredible. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Anybody else? Oh, Jenny White. I'm going to pull a card, one more card for Jenny White. She's a good friend of mine and they, a most amazing relationship queen. I mean, she helps people create the most amazing relationships and stand in their inner queendom. I mean, she is amazing. Her helping you step into your, like, some people call it divine feminine. She calls it queen and really stand strong in that that she's incredible. She's a very good friend of mine, powerful relationship coach and a huge transformational goddess, I have to say. All right. I'm going to pull a card for you, Jenny. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and pull this. Okay. Oh my gosh, Jenny, again, fire focus. That's for you today. So fire focus on the goal and plan out what needs to be done that's for you this week. I need to send you a deck of these. For those of you that don't have a deck and would like your own, you can go to, uh, just go to Etsy and I'll, I'll go ahead and post that in the comments here when I get off of here. And it's the energy of your business Oracle decks. And you get all these views, the 44 cards of amazing, very, it's like helps you take that inspired action. Because when you draw a card, you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. And when you really follow through and do it, watch out. 
I have to show this off one more time. Look at this thing. Look at that. Is that beautiful? I love it, love it, love it. My crystal. Love it, love it. It was a birthday present from my husband. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, and Sharon, yeah, you love your deck. Awesome. Whenever you join the Aligned and Limitless program, that's one of the things you get as well. And um, and you use it with your clients as well. It's amazing. Awesome. I love it, love it, love it. All right, everyone. Have a great week. And thank you so much for joining. Loved being here with you today. You are all amazing. The energy today, super powerful. If you are coming on at the end or you're listening to the replay at the end or something, go back and do the energy clearing because I feel like that is going to open up a lot of doors for you. Okay. Have a great rest of the week. Take care, guys. Bye.